Okay, guys, we're going to switch to or we're going to switch over to the Mac here. A Mac here, two ways. Uh, Ryder is minus eight and a half versus Canisius. Uh, the total is one fifty one and a half. Um, so Ryder is coming back home after two tough losses. Uh, we can't get things twisted here, though. Uh, Ryder is a a very talented team, uh, at least in relation to this conference, and they're a team that loves to run and loves to score. Uh, ranked 37th in the league in terms of speed of tempo, um, and the, I believe they play even faster at home. Uh, love to force turnovers, love to get fast break, uh, easy baskets. Now, Ryder's big problem has been their lack of defense. Uh, on the Canisius side, uh, they've scored 70 and 5 straight um, and have no issues you know, scoring and, and playing faster when necessary. They'll let another team dictate tempo for them. Um, uh, Canisius, though, happens to be awful on the defensive glass, uh, giving back a ton of easy layups at the rim. Um, with all the stats I'm giving you here, you'd almost almost begin to assume that I'm going to really like Ryder minus 8.5 in this spot. Uh, however, I honestly don't know how anybody could lay 8.5 with Ryder here. Uh, just because it's, it's, it's a lot of points. And Canisius has been pesky. I mean, they've, their last few games, I mean, you know, they haven't they haven't faltered at all. And, uh, you know, for me, as good as Ryder is, and I know coming off a few tough losses, you could argue this is a good bounce back spot for them to really, really lay it into Canisius here. Uh, the eight and a half to me is, is not really a favorable number. Uh, definitely could cover, but not a side I'm betting. Um, now, and one of the main reasons is while Ryder can really force turnovers, uh, which can, again could lead to a bunch of easy baskets, uh, they really can't stop anybody from scoring. So, you know, if they're not forcing turnovers, it's going to be a back-and-forth battle of just basket, basket, basket. Now, if they're forcing turnovers, um, you know, Ryder has the opportunity to pull away. Um, but, you know, keep in mind, Ryder is ranked in the bottom 12% of all in all of college basketball in uh, effective field goal percentage defensively. So they give up a ton defensively. Um, okay, so honestly, you know, you may already have the writing on the wall or may see it already. I'm going to be in favor of the over here at this number. And it's for the reasons I mentioned. I'm going to give you a few more. Um, two complete bottom feeders defensively going at it. I already mentioned Ryder's struggles. Canisius is really not a whole lot better defensively. Uh, it's one of those games that should be up and down uh, the court, ran, ran and played frantically, just getting open look after open look. You know, could this go under? Of course it could. I just think the opportunities are going to be there uh, for this game to, to hit into the 160s. Um, you know, people look at a number like this, and sometimes they're a little afraid of 151 and a half. You know, when, when a number is that high, you know, you get one of those two or three minute gaps of scoring, which happen, of course. You know, how do you make up for it? Because that's that's a number where you just consistently need scoring. But I'm going to give you another tidbit here. These two teams played a little over three weeks ago in Canisius, and the total was 160.5. Now, granted, that game fell under, but the total was still 80. The, the, the score was was still 82 to 73. That's 155. That would have been over this number. I want to also note that that odds makers, when they make these lines, they typically, at least at a minimum, favor the pace and tempo of the home team. They usually slide a little, a few more points in that direction based on the tempo. Now, Canisius is is slower of the two teams. So keep in mind, when this game was in Canisius, the total was 160.5. That game was only three weeks ago. These two teams didn't exactly change a whole lot in three weeks. They, they still play the same way. Um, and, and now I'm getting a total of 151 and a half uh, in Ryder. When Ryder's the much faster tempo team, they're going to want to dictate that at home. Um, and also in that game, Ryder shot one for 15 from three point range, uh, you know, that's seven percent or six percent, whatever that is. Uh, so definitely expect Ryder to shoot better there. Um, you know, the free throw, the free throws would be just a cherry on top. But I do believe these two teams are going to score and score often. And, uh, you know, I really like this. I have this capped at 156.5 myself, so that five number uh, is definitely favorable. Now, you know, if the question is how do I think this game is going to go in terms of line movement, I really don't know. I, I can't confirm. Sometimes I have a good handle on which way they're going to go. I know I gave you that under last week, uh, under earlier in the week, sorry, uh, with Illinois State, uh, Valpo. And I said, you know, definitely I'm very confident all the numbers here lead to an under. Um, and the line ended up closing five and a half points uh, more than what I gave you guys here, uh, or, or in favor, you know, open 132, close 127 and a half, and we had it under. Uh, this one's a little tougher to read, just because when totals are this high, people get a little scared of betting overs. 
But again, over is the right play here. I'm not even really an over better. I'm more of an under better. But uh, you're definitely uh, going with this one here. Ryder versus Canisius over 151 and a half. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching the video. Hope you found it informative. I gave you a pick on Yale in the Yale Princeton game, and I'm going to give you one more in uh, the Mac <laughs> for tomorrow. Uh, so check that out as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're not, and uh, comment below. We're, we're happy to respond to any comments uh, regarding this game, your thoughts on it. I want to thank you guys again for taking the time to watch the video, and uh, good luck on these games.